TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. If we do go live and you happen to miss it, Twitch got twitch.com. T H E E underscore L I T underscore O N E, man. That's where you can follow it. We do watch things we do not watch on um, that we don't post. Uh, like we want to watch Top Gear Special, Middle Eastern Special. <sighs> Go check it out. Become followed up. Follow now. Don't forget we do got merch as well, and we also got Patreon. We post Monday through Friday, man. Hey, shout out to all the Patreon people, man. Uh, there's a free membership, but shout out to the paid membership people, man. Y'all make a lot of things possible. Um. Let's get into this though, man. Church Rose Deadly Jamaican Duo, Cash and Zeno. All right. So we're in Halsden, Church Road to be precise. Halsden is a district in the London borough of Brent, Northwest London. It lies within a postal district of NW10. Halsden has been praised for its vibrant Caribbean culture and unofficially named London's. They probably got some good oxtail over there. Some. some some, some stew too I get capital for his contributions to the musical genre the town center contains many multicultural independent businesses while industry exists by the canal the hair most shot. notably <laughs> a McVitie's biscuit factory that has been operating since 1902 the population includes people of Afro-Caribbean heritage most notably as well as Irish Portuguese Brazilian Somali and smaller Latin America and East African groups within the community. Okay. In the late 1990s, Halsden and a nearby Stonebridge estate witnessed a high number of murders and became a crime spot because of several rival yardy gangs. During this time, Halsden turned into one of London's main crack cocaine trading mm. and one of the yardy strongholds. In 2001, the area reportedly had the highest murder rate in Britain with 26 shooting incidents that year alone. Throughout communities, projects, and better policing, crime rates were significantly reduced throughout the 2000s. Arrivals at Tilbury. The Empire Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans. Many are ex-servicemen who know England. Stonebridge was also known as Little Jamaica. During the Windrush era, a lot of Caribbean immigrants moved to the state. In the 80s, a lot of Jamaica gangsters who were nicknamed the Yardies by the police moved into the high-rise towers. This was during the crack epidemic. The Yardies would have shootouts with the police as well as other rival gangs in Brent. Stonebridge in the 80s and 90s was at its worst. At one point, it was considered the worst estate in the UK and the gun capital. Let that sink in, an estate was the gun capital of London at one point. An estate. Now today we'll be looking into the life of two of Church Road's most feared shooters. Z okay boy, I see you Sky boy, you stepping up the editing. You can put a little backdrop. Some shooting stars? Dino, real name Wayne Freckleton, and Cash, real name Shakar Anderson. Zeno being the older brother of UK rap legend, Nines. Cash mm. and Zeno were childhood friends. Cash came from Stonebridge and Zeno came from the church and the state. Cash had a twin brother called Nukes, who was just as bad as he was. See, Cash was a talented musician. Rumors are floating around that he was so good at what he did that he was about to be signed by famous dancehall artist Mavado. In 2001, Cash along with Zeno and friends created the Church Road Soldiers purely as a musical collective. A lot of Church Road gang members at one point lived in Stonebridge until they moved to Church End. The old estate had to be revamped because it was made of cardboard and during the summer the roofs would always catch on fire. Some of the estate was made of cardboard? Why was y'all living? There might even family members like Government Bogus. Like both Edge and Super. They are cousins but one of the main gang members from both sides. During the early 2000s, dancehall artists from both Stonebridge and Church Road would create a group known as Sun Cycle, which included artists such as Skrilla Kids, Gappy Ranks, Cash, and many more. During this period, Cash and Zeno were small-time drug dealers. Gang members residing within both Stonebridge and Church Road started to have severe discrepancies because of a football match. Yes, you heard that right, a football match. Some suspect gang members like Shorty would purposely bully Church Road gang members, including Cash. However, Cash wasn't going for this and his resistance and brave nature resulted in an escalation from one Stonebridge gang member known as Shorty. 
real name Muhammad Corneille. Shorty proceeded to shoot Cash in the face, almost killing him while also robbing him for both drugs and money. See, Shorty was one of the most feared members from Stonebridge and was a real bully. Rumours was he was short-tempered due to being teased for his height. So that's what led him to be trigger happy. Shorty was part of the... So you saying he had a Napoleon complex? It's tough. Gang known as the Fugs of Stonebridge, resigning in the Stonebridge Park Estate. They also called themselves the Suspect Gang. It was led by gang leader Damien Williams. Other prominent members were Jay, Killer, Iceberg, Shorty, no, Rufus, bro. Spider, Gav, Lefty, Squingy, etc. They were the original suspect gang. The likes of K Coke and his brother, Smalls and Playboy, etc. were the younger suspects. Bugs of Stonebridge were notorious for bullying other areas. See, what separated them and made them extra deadly was their gunplay. The sheer rate they used their guns struck fear into everyone. This is why historically, Stonebridge has always been the most hated area in Brent. Stonebridge and Church Road have had beef since the 80s, but it was only petty fights between some individuals from both sides. But all that changed since that football incident in 2001. Now on the 15th of December 2002, famous UK rapper Dizzy Rascal held an event at the Tudor Rose nightclub in Southall to tackle. I know this did not go well, man. I'm not holding no events. You, we can do a black tie event with massive security. <laughs> not catching me at nobody club with, with an event in it. If it's just a regular club night, cool. But if it's an event, I'm not coming. Gun crack. The irony is... Cash and Zeno both attended the event armed after getting the drop that Stonebridge members were present. See what I'm saying? Not just any members though, Shorty, the man who almost took Cash's life a year prior, as well as another Stonebridge member known as Ensman, whose real name was Solon Bestman. After Cash spotted Shorty, he instantly shot him in the head. Zeno also started firing and hit Ensman in the neck. Ensman of Stonebridge Park Northwest London was found and collapsed in an alleyway near the club and died at the scene. Shorty of Croydon, South London was taken to New Ealing Hospital but later died from his injuries on a Sunday morning. Looking for the motivation? So not on the spot. That's crazy. My bad, I lost focus. Let's move around. A great son, very, very loving. 21. He would wake up and come and hug me and kiss me and said, Mommy, I love you. He was a giving person. Gangsters always very love their mom. At heart. I don't want people out there to think, oh, because he's my child. But he was a friendly person. Very, very friendly. Would talk to anybody. He oh. also wanted to smoke with anybody. The phone went. My daughter came and said, uh, Mommy, I've got something to tell you. Don't panic, but Selom has been shot. My son was shot from the back, and it was only one bullet. One shot. That's all it take. When it happened, I questioned myself a lot. Where did I go wrong? Did I do, do something wrong? I can't think of anything I did wrong. I did what a mother could do. I've lost. Yes, that's exactly. You did what a mother could, and a mother can't raise a man. Where was the father? People around me, relatives. In the, in, the, in the circumstances of the father and being in the life, it's not her fault. You know, it's just the father's fault. Where are you at? Were you, were you around at all? I didn't hear nothing about him. But nothing, nothing at all compared to a loss of a child. It's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like somebody put their hand in your chest and rip your heart out. It's, it's so hard. 
It's so painful. Yeah, man. I pray nobody I know or nobody close to me or nobody in general has to go through that. That's tough. I wouldn't know how to describe it to you unless you've been through it. Seven of his friends were there. They saw what happened. But nobody is saying anything. I believe the police know who did it, but because they don't have enough evidence, somebody to stand up and say, I was there, I saw what is happening, you did it. The police can't do anything, their hands are tied behind them. Now after successfully getting revenge and making a name for themselves, Church Road became a gang. Members included Cash, Zeno, Jazzy, Funds, Super, Inches, Nukes, Hydro, etc. Despite Scraps being the same generation as them, he didn't start messing with them until the mid 2000s. They knew the tits and tats would now commence and fully declared war on Stonebridge. Cash later moved to Bristol after the killings where he set up shop. He was later arrested for drugs in around 2000. No, you ain't gonna be rapping about these, this area. But while Zeno was back home running Church Road. There was an individual known as AR Top Shotter who at the time was close with CRS members but for some strange reason he gave E1 real name Femi Forde and Richie Boo real name Richard Osborne the drop on Zeno. E1 is originally from South Kilburn but was living in Stonebridge around these times. Now in April 2008 Zeno was sitting in a barber shop in Acton Lane Halsden when he was brutally shot and killed by a masked gunman. The shooters were Ford and Osborne, two Fugs of Stonebridge members. The vicious attack was a revenge for the double murder Zeno and Cash caused in 2002. That's unfortunate, RIP. But when you sign up for this lifestyle, you know exactly how it end. Your life expectancy is very short. Uh, whether your life ends in jail or it ends on the street, it's still over both ways. Uh, side note, I will say this. The nicknames I'm hearing from over here, tough. They all tough. Everybody sounds like a Mortal Kombat or Tekken or Street Fighter person. Like, that's how they naming themselves after, after them. Shoot. Following the shooting, Osborne and Ford fled to Birmingham. As retaliation for what AR Top Shotter did, he was shot. AR Top Shotter. Shot on two different occasions. Femi Ford, 25, and Richard Osborne, 27, both from Halsden, were convicted of murder at the Old Bay. E1, Richie Boo, fight, my bad. I'm losing focus. And Richard Osborne, 27, both from Halsden, were convicted of murder at the Old Bailey. Osborne and Ford were each jailed for a minimum of 30 years. <laughs> and what the judge do to y'all? Finish them. <laughs> 30 years, fatality, that's tough. You out of there. Life done. After being found guilty. And we know y'all going in, stepping for the members inside, so your sentence is only getting longer or, 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 or probation is not granted. So that's what I'm be talking about when I say life is done. You in there 30 years, 30 of your best prime years. Of the payback murder at the old Bailey. Ford's father, Brinsley, was a founding member of Aswad who enjoyed several hit singles including the chart topper Don't Turn Around. Brinsley was also a child actor in the children television series Here Come the Double Deckers and starred as Wesley in the popular British sitcom Please Sir. He also appeared in James Bond film Diamonds Are Forever. What so what were you on? Now Spider, real name Di So you had potential to be a star and you chose the street? I'm telling you man, hey listen. Don't give me no agent. Bro, you, I will never. <laughs> and you turned your back on the hood. Yeah. Yeah. I'm alive. I had some good homies in there. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I came back, got them. But y'all, I'm out of here. Aaron okay, what nobody talking about. He was a Fuzz of Stonebridge member who was sentenced to 22 years for the murder of Jamal Moore. However, he later agreed to testify in court to decrease his life sentence. BBC News called him Britain's first black supergrass. Now the unusual- B BBC News called him that? 
Does black British super That's crazy. The thing about Spy, the deal was that he came after he was already sentenced. He subsequently did a deal with the police and Crown Prosecution Service, reducing his sentence to eight years. In return, he would give evidence at several trials. The reason why this is important to the story is because he was willing to give evidence on the double murder that happened in Tudor's nightclub in 2002. And with now Zeno dead, only cash remained for the police to put on trial. Spider's first test as the Crown star witness came in May 2009 when he gave evidence against Cash, real name Shakar Anderson, claiming he had shot dead two men at Dizzy Rascal's concert in an aid of an anti-gun charity in 2002. But the jury rejected Mathurin's evidence and acquitted Cash of the killings. Church Road soldiers had a rebrand when Cash screamed out crime scene boys and since then CRS was changed to CSB. Member Super one time screamed out on a track I City, so they referred to their music group as ICB from 2010 onwards. Now I'm going to briefly discuss Church Road's beef with Press Road. In 1998, gang members from Press Road killed Bobby, aka Dean Roberts, in Halsden High Street as revenge for him killing their friend Marcus Charles on the church end estate due to control over a drug line. Press Road and Church Road have had war since. Now on the 3rd of July 2011, Cash and other members of CSB attended St Paul's Carnival in Bristol on Stapleton Road, Eastern. Cash and other CSB members got themselves into a heated altercation with a rival gang member known as Lynch, real name Raquel Adams from the Press Road crew. Known as Lynch, real name Raquel they need to go home. Adams from the Press Road crew. They started shooting at each other, which was captured on CCTV. The bullet fired off Cash's gun, which ricocheted off the wall and hit Vague's real name Rico Gordon, who was a gang member from Ladbroke Grove. Vague's died shortly after. Vague's was the boyfriend of now TV personality Maya Jama. Of Stormzy's? Is this Stormzy's current girl? That like, maybe he dropped his phone and then, because I heard like a kind of bang, but it could have been the phone falling on the floor because as soon as I, like he was speaking and then it was kind of like, like, you know, when you can't finish a, a sentence and then it just cut out. Cash was arrested for the murder. That's Stormzy's ex? Alongside Lynch, Shakar. Well, you know, I'm glad she made something of herself. Anderson, 31, of no fixed address, and Raquel Adams, 27, of Neesden, North London, were found guilty of murder. Both were given life sentences at Bristol Crown Court. Jurors also found both men guilty of possession of a firearm. The judge, Miss Justice Sharp, said, gun crime has no place on the streets of Bristol and it has no place anywhere in a civilized society. At least 21 shots were fired by three gunmen. Four people shot and one of them dead and two seriously injured. It is pure luck that more death and injury did not happen. Mr. Justice Sharp said the offences were significantly premeditated and both men had easy access to firearms. She said it was unclear what sparked the... Y'all ever watch the Three Stooges? Like, who, who, who would purposely do this type of moustache? Besides Mo. That's crazy. Confrontation in a pub, but it developed into a very ugly incident of verbal abuse ah. and threats of guns being used. The shocking nature of what happened next leaves me in no doubt that Anderson and Adams intended to kill, the judge said. Adam was ordered to serve a minimum of 35 years and Shakar Anderson, aka Cash, was ordered to serve at least 32 years. Finish now Jazzy, as we talked earlier, a CSB member, real name Courtney Ellis, 28 years old, and Tafari Adams, 29, all from London, were sentenced to seven years imprisonment for aid and cash in the shooting. Now with Zeno's younger brother Nines, now the face of Church Road and now a massive rapper in the scene, musically he had a back and forth with Kay Cook that would lead to Zeno's death being brought up by the Stonebridge eyes to mock the whole ordeal. On the 7th of July 2017, Keiko dropped the song Liquor Man, where he responded to Nines by saying, 
I thought you'd be here with your weapon, repping. F boy, you're not certy. Your brother died in 06. Now they say the street life only Negativity. leads to two destinations, the grave or in prison. And that was sadly the case for Zeno and Cash. So this brings me to the end of their story. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. Majority of my viewers aren't subscribed, so please change that as it goes a long way. For hey, it absolutely does. I just looked, and 64% of y'all are not subscribed. That's crazy, man. Salute to Skyboy, though, man. I remember I always tell people, man, the way you could get on is YouTube very fast. Start making documentaries. Then look at Skyboy. Did it. Executed. Out here now. <laughs> Three days, 70,000 views. And this is like normal numbers for him. 16K. Anything after 1,000 subscribers, you good. As long as you're getting these views, you're getting that chizak. <laughs> TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn to your posts. RIP to everybody in this video, man. I'm gone.